hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so uh before i start i do want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers um that were sent by miss b lovely b loves life thank you so much for the love and welcome to the family so today i'm actually going to be going over all the seasonings that i use um and i'm going to be telling you guys the prices and where you guys can get them from so first on my bucket list is actually Goya adobo so this one is about so this one is 28 ounces and I'm actually going to be telling you I usually get this from Walmart um, or Bravo if you live in South Florida or New York um, or any Spanish or Oriental market you will actually find Goya you can also go on their website. I paid about $5 for this. I'm gonna double check right now, actually. Give me a second. So the Goya um, is actually $3.69 for the 28 ounce. So go ahead and get that. Second, this one. Sazon, Sazandor Total. And this is the same price for the um, 18 ounce. I like this one too. Um, so these two here are like a must have in my kitchen. I can be without any of the other ones that I can show you, but these two I must have in my kitchen at all times. This one I don't use as often. These cost about $2. Um, I got this, you can get this at Walmart, Bravo, any oriental market, just, just look around, to be honest. You can find any of these seasonings anywhere, and if you can't, just go on the website, go to Maggie.com and see if they ship them to you, or you can find out who has them, but Walmart is everywhere, and Walmart has these. Just look into the international aisle, and you'll find it. this one these are little packets I got this at Costco um, this cost me about four dollars at Costco and it has 36 packets 36 packets um, this is also a must-have in my kitchen combo seasoning every time I say this people think that it's some magical seasoning or it's something that I made up myself no this is actually what it's called by Ocherius. Um, this is in Walmart this is at Bravo you can get this at Publix um, but you can also go on the website and see if they ship them to you but I'm also going to um, tell you how much it costs let me check that one too this is a 12 ounce and the 12 ounce is five dollars and 49 cents okay so next on my list is be love sauce um her macalicious her smackalicious sauce mix now i don't just use this to make my dipping sauce for my seafood um i use this to season in my chicken to season my chicken um my seafood pretty much anything to be honest with you i don't just use it to um make a seafood dip so go ahead and give this a try um this is not always online and when they are i usually buy like four or five of them at a time but this is about 24 dollars. it's a lot in here and it does last long it's worth the money um 
$24.99 on Amazon. And I'm almost certain Amazon is the only place that you can get it. Unless she personally gives it to you herself. Mrs. Dash. I paid $10 for this. This is actually 21 ounces. Can you see? Yeah. 21 ounces. Um, I got this at Costco. This size at Costco. But you can actually get the smaller sizes um, at Bravo, at Walmart, at Publix, at Target. Any supermarket pretty much. Um, I also have the chicken blend from Mrs. Dash. And this here... Um, cost about five bucks for this size and this is um, two ounces 2.4 ounces I also have the garlic and herb and I have the table blend so sometimes I may want to add a little spice to my my food this is really really spicy but I got this off of Amazon for about $14. And I was disappointed when I saw this in um, the Oriental Market for about 8 bucks. So, yeah. Shop around before you go online. Um, I use this for flavor, oregano leaves. Um, this cost me about $4 at Costco. And this is 2.5 ounces. Um, I use it for flavor as well as garnish on my, my plates. Basil. Basil, basil, basil. Um, I use this a lot in my spaghettis. Um, I also use this for garnish as well. And this was also, um, about four bucks, four or five bucks at Costco and this is 2.85 ounces I got this at Costco for $3.99 and this is 2.5 ounces of parsley I love to use parsley and I also like to use this as garnish as well um, some of the seasonings that I do have here I just learned does have MSG so I am working on trying to find an alternative um, for some of these seasonings, I am going to tell you the ones that do have MSG. Um, Maggie has MSG. Um, my combo seasoning has MSG. This Sazon Goya has MSG. Those are the only three that have MSG. Um, these two, the only downfall is they have, well, this doesn't have any salt. This one does. This one doesn't. So this has no salt, no MSG. I take that back. This has MSG. I'm hurt. So these four, two, three, and four have MSG in them. So I am trying to find an alternative for them. Um, if you guys have any suggestion, suggestions, suggestions, um, let me know in the comments below. Email me or um, send me a DM on Instagram and let me know so those are the ones that do have MSG um, Mrs. Dash I got Mrs. Dash because I wanted to kind of find a way to um, substitute these um, but to be honest they're good don't get me wrong they're good but it's just not enough because I'm so used to the the flavor from these um but yeah 
I'm kind of happy that this doesn't have MSG, but it does have salt. And I also learned um, that when you look at the ingredients, so it's how it's set up and listed. So salt is the first one. So mainly in this is salt, if that makes sense. So that's something that my dad and I went over. I did not know that. So if it's listed first, that's what it has mostly of. And if it's listed last, which is turmeric, it has the least. So So I am trying to find an alternative. Um, I hope that this helps. This is a short video, nothing long, nothing drawn out, but a lot of people have been asking me um, what seasonings I use um, and where do I get them from. So most of the time I go to Walmart, I go to Bravo, Publix, um, when I lived in Georgia, um, you can get them at Kroger and any H Mart. If you have an H Mart, H Mart is there. Um, Ingles, Ingles has some in their international aisle. Uh, so go ahead and check out those places. Publix, I know Publix is in Georgia as well. Um, just go ahead and, and, and check it out. And if you guys do, like I said, have alternatives or healthier alternatives so that I can kind of get rid of these, um, seasonings that do have MSG, I'm all for it and I'm, I'm willing to try it out. So yeah, well, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and press that post notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.